Well, as you guys see in those first couple clips, we are doing a little bit of work on the S13. I'm actually back in my garage and I'm filming on my normal camera. I want to apologize for uh, uploading that uh, phone footage. I didn't bring my camera with me when I went down to Jack's Fab this past weekend. And uh, just to fill you guys in and bring you up to speed real quick, I went ahead and decided that I'm not going to run the downpipe or the uh, hood exit, excuse me, the little hood dump. Uh, I've since uh, taken that off, removed that, and uh, Justin was kind enough to give me a hand uh, starting to mock up some stainless steel pipes. So I originally brought my car down on Saturday so that way I could start fitting up some stainless steel piping and I was going to keep the original um, little pipe that came off with the two and a half inch V-band. Justin was like, nah dude, we'll get you squared away. So he pulled my exhaust uh, housing off, he welded a V-band on for me, I'll throw in some photos real quick. Welded that V-band on and then he started mocking up these two pipes here. He got these pipes mocked up and they're actually coming down and it, it turns down in between the engine and the steering shaft. And now all I've got to do is follow up behind him and weld up the rest of the piping. So he gave me 45, little 90 straight and this whole down pipe section right here. I have just about everything to make my complete stainless steel down pipe on the S13. From there, I have some three inch stainless uh, straight pipe that's over there. I'm gonna be uh, plumbing that and we're gonna do a traditional exhaust out, out the rear and I'll probably end up doing you know some blast pipes or something because uh, I really dig that style. Anyways, aside from all of that stuff, I've uh, modified a few things. I have new cam covers here. I don't have one on right now, but this one's on here with a new AN fitting. And uh, I've picked up all new AN fittings themselves. You guys can see here, I've got some 45s, some straights. I've got uh, some AN line, it's all dash 10. This is gonna be for my catch can, plumbing my catch can. I've got some wire looming so I can finish out all the wire uh, looming that needs to be done on the chassis itself. So I have a harness, you guys can see all of this that comes up and under. All of that needs to be loomed. And then back here, I need to loom some of that wiring. And then across the front of the cross member for the headlights, I need to loom all that up. We've got that stuff. And then lastly, we've got gauges. We've got a boost gauge here, we've got oil and uh, coolant temp sensor. So we've got an oil pressure and a coolant temp built into this guy. And then my AEM wideband that came with the sensor. The reason well, one of the biggest reasons why I'm going away from the hood dump um, is because I couldn't fit an O2 sensor bung for the wideband and for an actual O2 sensor uh, inside the hood dump. And then the second reason is that it just leaves soot all over my engine bay. And I really don't want to get this bay any dirtier than it already is. So that's uh, kind of like up to speed for you guys. Um, there's several other things that I've done. The brake master that I had originally in here when you guys uh, saw the last upload and I talked about my brakes giving me issue. That's because the seals on the master, uh, they were shot and they were on their way out. It actually leaked down the side of it. So this is a brand new master and my boy Michael Fedor came over Friday night and helped me bleed out all four of the brakes. We are set. The thing stops on a dime. The brakes are working great. I am uh, I'm so stoked to be able to you know actually drive the car around. So uh, that is really it for right now. I've been working on the cam covers today. I'm going to maybe start mocking up the exhaust a little bit. I don't really have much daylight out here, um, but I'm trying to do what I can before I have to go to work tomorrow. So that is that, guys. I just wanted to bring you up to speed. And uh, once I start diving in a, a little bit more, uh, I'll do a little more filming and then uh, show you guys. But to be 100% honest, sorry about that, guys. I had a uh, camera issue there. It stopped recording on me. but. Uh, like I was saying, um, to be 100% honest with uh, you guys, I don't really want to keep filming all the little odds and ends that I'm doing. I'm trying to get this all together and that way we can just, you know, actually start filming me driving this thing and, uh, you know, the painting process and all of that stuff because it's starting to get uh, a little redundant and, I mean, you guys obviously know what's going on as far as me getting this engine in here and getting everything squared away so that's kind of all that i have for you right now i'm going to keep on throwing this stuff together and once i get to a good uh, filming point i'll uh, pop back in update you guys on what the situation is and then i'll probably just upload this video as is and then when I get everything squared away, I'll uh, probably dive back in when we start doing uh, some more primer work and getting it pretty much prepped for uh, either A, going into full paint or just getting it all into primer so that way I can get coilovers for it and then we can get it to the dyno because 
My biggest issue right now is I really want to put the rear windows in, but I really want to paint the car. So I'm kind of stuck and that's leaving me in this awkward position. As you guys can see, this whole side is primer, the roof is primer, but obviously the driver's side is not finished yet. So <clears throat> that's kind of where I'm at with this, guys. Let me uh, go back to work here and uh, finish putting these cam covers on and then uh, planning all my lines out for uh, the AN, or excuse me, for the catch can. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, go from there, guys. What's going on guys? It's been about a week and a half since I've updated the video and I want to bring you guys up to speed with the uh, whole S13 build. We'll start off real quick with uh, the hood exit for the wastegate, the screamer pipe, whatever you want to call it. I've got that guy fully bolted up, welded up, and ready to rock and roll. Before I show you uh, down there, I just want to show you the new stainless setup I've got here. Got a nice flex head 17 series torch with a uh, Furic Fupa 12 cup. Uh, shout out to Jack's Fab. He was able to supply me with one of these. He had a couple of them on the shelf ready to rock and roll. Uh, I've got that set up and I've actually changed up my purge set up here. Got a nice little 80 um, CU bottle with a argon regulator. This was my regulator off my MIG brother that I was using to uh, purge this uh, pipe here. So I'll crawl under real quick and make this short and sweet. You guys can see there that is my wastegate screamer tube. Got it all welded up looking good follows along the manifold there and just comes right out we will see how well it does if it you know puts a bunch of soot and nasty stuff all over the engine bay i'll just flip that sucker down and point her down this way and then if you keep real close you can see that i have started the rest of my downpipe i apologize if i hit the mic against anything underneath the car but i do want to show you guys this stuff justin uh, he welded all the way up on that very top 45, just uh, right out the V-band. And then from there, I've tacked up all the uh, parts that I've purchased. And uh, I've got my little flex pipe right there already welded up. So I'm just waiting on a set of V-bands so that way I can finish out the rest of the exhaust. But that guy's in there at the moment. I've got one piece of stainless three inch right here. That's a full, I want to say like five foot stick and then I have another five foot stick that's laying over there. So I have 10 foot in total to get this exhaust all the way out to the back of the car. So that's one of the things that I want to talk about is getting that stuff done. Um, that's going to be separate video. I'm going to film me welding out the uh, exhaust and uh, getting that ran all the way out the back. I actually picked up my O2 sensor too. So I've got an O2 sensor in here, got the bung for it. Um, I've got some heat foil tape, uh, a couple other things that uh, I'm using for the car. I've got a nice uh, blade here because I have been cutting my own pies. Uh, they're not like, you know, super perfect, but I mean, you guys can check the fitment on it. Let me set it down real quick. I mean, there's, there's, there's worse. Like I think that fitment is pretty good for what it is and I'm cutting it on my old 1988 Enco. She's a freaking beast, dude. She's been serving me uh, great, man, I love her. So I've been spending money on these pre-cut pies from the Stainless Bros, this is a 16 gauge. Uh, this is what I have been using. This makes my life easy. You guys can see I've got one open here, um, but it does add up quickly. They are expensive and uh, when you get the three inch at the tight radius, like I said, it's 50 bucks, you know, for a set of five shipped. I think it's maybe a little bit more. I get a little bit of a discount uh, with Jack's Fab, but yes, that is that. That is my stainless stuff. We'll move forward to the catch can. You guys can see the catch can is plumbed up here. Got my lines. I was waiting on this last one here. I actually had two 90 degree dash 10 AN fittings and uh, I decided that I did not like the 90 coming off of this. So this is actually a 120 degree and I've yet to finish out plumbing it. But once I do that, I'm going to make a separate video on my catch can and uh, this actual setup because my boy was kind enough to ship me one of these guys for Christmas and I can't thank him enough. I, I want to do a video for him and uh, represent this uh, catch can because he's uh, making for the S13, S14, Mustangs and uh, I mean if you, have, if you have a vehicle that you want a catch can for, uh, I believe he's trying to uh, pull in uh, as many vehicles as he can so that way he can start producing these for you know us car guys. So shout out to him, Jack, if you're watching the video, catch your little note hanging up here appreciate that dog shit's awesome so that is that for uh, the catch can right now and the lines I've got those all fitted just got to do that last one uh, I already spoke about my brakes the brakes are all good I guess I can show you guys the fan I've got the fan mounted in here I welded on new tabs got two new tabs on the top two new tabs on the bottom they are mounted and secured they're not going anywhere 
I picked up two Tycon uh, Industries couplers here. This coupler uh, set is going to run on my uh, Mishimoto temporary intercooler so that way I can get rid of this jank stuff right here. I really want to tuck my intercooler but I think I may have to buy a core so that way I can uh, build it from scratch because unfortunately that intercooler is not going to fit unless I do a ton of modifying and I really don't want to cut up my nice painted bay. I mean I've already drilled freaking you know holes in it over here so I'm not trying to do uh, any more damage to the bay than I've already done. Um, but aside from that guys that's uh, kind of everything I'll show you the interior I got the dashboard mounted up in there center console nothing's bolted down quite yet um, I've been running off. I apologize about that again guys I'm having weird issues with this SD card I'm gonna probably order a new one so that way I can stop dealing with this uh, file interrupt nonsense anyways like I was saying I was running all the power lot wires, all my grounds and stuff. I've got my fuse boxes tucked in here. I need to get some ABS plastic so that way I can get that uh, nice, like, just a nice beauty plate, you know, mounted in there nice and securely and, and looking good. Um, aside from that, all the grounds are ran, all my wires for my gauges are ran. I've actually had this gauge uh, plumbed up. I was testing the oil pressure and the coolant temp sensor. Uh, both of those guys are fully functional and uh, I just got to get the rest of the wiring done in there so uh, little by little guys we're making good progress on it I'm working on getting these up on my website the uh, Sylvia headlight brackets with the uh, lower uh, tab I'm going to do both versions one with the lower tab and one without so that way if you have a broken headlight like this you can run this style or if you have a broken headlight like this you can run the new style to fit your Sylvia garnish in but uh, besides that guys that's uh, kind of it kind of straightforward uh, I've got a nice new uh, rivnut uh, gun here so that way I can do some rivnut installations you guys can see got a whole ton of them down here um, yeah that's that's really it guys so far so good we are making progress little by little I'm going to uh, hop on uh, this exhaust drill out this area down here I've got it marked back there you guys can see I'm gonna put the O2 sensor in there get that plumbed up then uh, about 18 inches back from the back of the turbo we'll plumb up the uh, wide band and then run this exhaust all the way out the back and uh, she'll be ready for a tune oh and uh, ordering my BC's uh, within I don't know the next week or two on top of a few other things that I want to get for the car I really 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 want to try to get it into paint but I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about that I think I'm gonna get it on its suspension get it aligned uh, get it down to Tampa get its actual uh, dyno tune um, and square the, the the entire tune out and then from there we'll start dealing with the cosmetics and then uh, you guys can see in the title I'll wrap this video up I bought a, another Jeep another financial mistake it's a, uh, a 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee it's got a little bit of rust on her in a few places as you can see it's from Connecticut uh, the backstory on this uh, Rob who is one of the uh, co-owners of the channel our co-founders he uh, had his cousin move down from Connecticut to here in Florida and he actually purchased a Harley Davidson that's his daily driver and what he's been using and uh, unfortunately he lost his job and uh, he you know wanted to be able to keep on to his or hold on to his Harley so he was like I don't need the Jeep anymore he gave me a ring and he was like dude I know you've been asking me about it all right that's the third time it's done it on the SD card so yeah I am for sure ordering a new SD card but as I was saying guys prior to this thing interrupting me again he uh, had a price for the Jeep um, I wasn't really comfortable paying it and uh, I told him that you know I'd offer a certain amount we agreed on that certain amount and eventually this became mine so I'll show you guys real quick I'll probably do a whole separate video uh, on the Cherokee itself or the Grand Cherokee excuse me so that way you guys can see it but it's uh it's okay it's it's probably seen better days um, but all I'm gonna do with it you see the headliner is just nasty up there but what I'm gonna do with it is uh, take her to URA National Forest with a couple of my buddies we'll probably do a little budget lift kit with it and uh, I'll probably put a lock right in the front, weld the rear, and uh, call it a day. I'll crank her up for you guys. All I had to do was put a new battery in it. After I towed it home, I had to jump it off to get it up on the trailer. And then from there, slap a new battery in it. And it was set. Surprisingly, the windows, they all roll down just fine.
seems to idle pretty well, get up and go pretty well. So uh, we'll see how she does. But I did want to, you know, show you guys this uh, Jeep on the channel because obviously you guys are going to be seeing it within the next couple of weeks because sometime in April, around uh, April 21st, 22nd, we're probably going to load up uh, me, Talon, a uh, buddy of mine, Jack, with that YJ, a buddy of mine, John. Uh, he's got a Gladiator and a couple friends back home in North Carolina. We'll probably just go up there and do a uh, little URE off-roading trip and enjoy the Jeep. But that is that, guys. I will uh, shut up, quit rambling, and uh, wrap up this video. Next video you guys will see is uh, me welding out that exhaust, getting that exhaust right. And then uh, we'll probably be tinkering with the uh, ZJ a little bit, getting that thing. So that way we can start prepping it to go wheeling in the next month or so. And uh, yeah, that's kind of that, guys. I do appreciate everyone watching. I will see you guys in the next upload. I apologize for my awful scheduling and all that nonsense. I'm just a slacker when it comes to, to uploading. Sorry, guys. I'll see you in the ne next upload. Later.